I forgot what their character name was. What was their character names in in the movie? Anyway, um, it's starting to pick up steam that Tony Bellew and Andre Ward will be fighting this year. Now, according to um, Eddie Hearn, Tony Bellew and David Hay can't strike a deal because David Hay, be honest, David Hay is the A-side, but Tony Bellew has the win, even though David Hay was winning before the injury. It's just, you know, that's 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 the nature of the beast. That's, that's the politics. So it's looking like we're not going to see a rematch anytime soon, even though there's a lot of money involved. David Hay is positioning himself to face the winner of Parker versus Fury um, in December as well. So the question I have is this. For his last fight, he weighed in at 213 and a half, right? You have to think that Andre Ward is going to fight him at Cruiserweight. Will Andre Ward and his team try to catch weight him, you know, and maybe get him, you know, to fight at some like 190 or some 185 or some shit? And can Tony Bellew do that? Now, remember, his last fight at that weight was at, at one, no, excuse me, at 175 or, you know, below the 200 pound um, um, limit was in 2013 when he fought at Donna Stevenson. It'll be four years in November since that fight. So, you know, you have to think like for, for, for the money and for the right fight and to be able to, you know, fight a guy like Andre Ward, one of the greatest boxers right now, you know, um, um, of this era. You know, will would Tony Bell you risk that? But the 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 selling point of of the fight to me is is Andre Ward moving to cruiserweight, and he's been saying that he would move to heavyweight. That's the selling point of the fight. You know, not that these two guys are fighting that. Oh my God, Andre Ward versus Tony Bell because it was at one seventy five. Nobody would give a fuck. But fans want to see how can Andre Ward do at one at 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 at, at cruiserweight. And he's been saying for quite some time, years now, that he would like to test the waters at heavyweight. So can he take the power of a cruiserweight who was formerly a light heavyweight? Because all he has to do is put on, you know, some muscle, you know, bulk up a little bit. You know, who knows? He may not. What's his walk around weight? Andre Ward doesn't seem the type of guy to, uh, to, to, to blow up. So you know what? Put on about maybe 15 pounds of muscle or so. You know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, we're just going to have to see. But can he hang in the the, the 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 cruiserweight division. Also, Tony Bellew is considered the WBC. Also, he is considered the WBC champion, you know, um, in Emeritus, even though Miras Breedis is a WBC champion, still, would the WBC allow the winner of Bellew versus Ward, if it was to happen, to be, you know, a mandatory for the winner of whoever wins that World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight tournament. That way, what if Andre Ward goes to fight the winner? He could be, he could go on and win all of the belts. Would you love to see Alexander Usyk, Alexander Usyk versus um, versus uh, Andre Ward, right? How about Andre Ward versus uh, um Glowoski or Murat Gassiev or Dennis Lebedev? You know, you know those names are names that I'm like, yeah, I would like to see those. I mean, not, I'm talking about names that, I, I mean, obviously, you know, I would like to see him against the winner of the tournament. But there's some nice international fights out there for Andre Ward. But the problem is, depending on what Andre Ward's going to do, depending on how long he's going to fight, if he's going to, if he's going to move to the cruiserweight division and fight about three, four fights at cruiserweight, you know, and then move up to heavy, whatever the case may be, there are fights out there for him. But if those names come over here, they won't be big names. Those are big international names, those names I just told you about. You know, so a guy like Dennis Lieberdev comes over here or Marat Garcia, you know, even though he trains up there in Big Bear with Golovkin, they're still not big names over here, you know? I mean, um, him versus Ulysses Usyk would be a big fight, but is that a pay-per-view? That's HBO. Where's the big money at in that unless it's overseas somewhere, you know? And I'm sure he's not going to the Ukraine, you know, or Germany to fight him. I'm sure of that, right? So it's like this. I, 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 I want to see the fight. You know, it's like this. I want to see the fight. I'm down for the fight, but the the selling point of the fight is not of the two names of Ward versus Bellew. It's of the fact that Ward will be fighting at cruiserweight, and hardcore fans will want to see how he would do. Also, would this fight take place in the UK, where there would be more money? You know, would this fight take place in the UK, where there would be more money? I don't know. 
But I guess you can honestly say that the Kovalev situation is over. You know what? I didn't want to see. You know, there's been some people, even Kovalev's team, lobbying for another rematch. Don't nobody. It's over. You know, don't nobody want to see it. I don't want to see Ward Kovalev 3. You know, I understand what you may say about the first fight and say, well, you know, if Ward really won, you know, he could really, really prove it in the third fight. But if you look at the sales of the first fight and then the second fight, which had much more animosity and much more buzz around it, didn't do well either, you know, it's time to, you know, go on, you know, to other shit. But also, what if Andre, what if Kovalev moves up the cruiserweight too? You know? I don't think Tony Bell will fight him. Will fight him. But with that being said, what do you feel Tony Bell you can could do? What do you feel Tony Bell you could do to beat Andre Ward? Now remember, this is the guy that's coming off of a win. You know, his career has been pretty much reborn and he's making good money now. You know, so he's coming off of a win against David Hay, and he is on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine fight winning streak since losing to Adonis Stevenson with big wins over the Nathan Cleverly fight was a big fight. The uh, Makabu fight was a big fight because he won the belt. He was down earlier in the fight. The BJ Flores fight was considered somewhat of a big fight as well. And then, of course, David David Hayda build up for that fight. That was a very huge fight and he got the win. You know, so he does <coughs> <coughs> he does have some 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 bargaining power and he has gotten better. At cruiserweight, even though, and remember, well, if you don't know, I cover every single Tony Bell you fight. You know, all of them. You know, so, I mean, meaning this since I've been on YouTube. You know, so, when you look at, you know, when he first started at cruiserweight, I remember that fight against uh, uh, Brudolph and then Dos Santos. You know, you was thinking to yourself, like, okay, all right, he's feeling himself way back, in, into, he's feeling himself back into the division. He went and fought Nathan Cleverly, and you're like, okay, now he's going to really start going after champions. But then he fought uh, uh, Bakurin and then the other guy's name and then Masternak. But then finally he went on and got that shot. And a lot of people would thought he was going to lose to Makabu. You know, a lot of people thought he was going to lose that fight. So, you know, he's one of those fighters you can't really count out. But, I mean, come on. I'm not saying that he's going to beat Andre Ward. You know, don't put words in my mouth. I'm not saying that. I'm trying to figure out if from, from me knowing Tony Bell, you as a fighter, what can he bring to the table to beat Andre Ward? What does he bring to the table? You know, I don't know. Can, can you, like, it power? You know, after all, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those nine fights um, has ended in, in a stoppage. And like I said, you can't really count. Like, I, I'm not taking anything away from the David Hay win because he did get the win. On paper, a win is a win. But come on, David Hay had one leg and people not giving him respect for that win. You know, so here's the questions of the fight. How does power play in, you know, and, and does Andre Ward have enough to maybe hurt Tony Bellew? Because no matter what, a chin is still a chin, even if you move up and wait. And he will stop by Donna Stevenson, you know, at 175. So you And then he's been down before. So you have to question, well, you know, he could possibly, you know, like the power, you know, may not be, you know, a factor. Where does the fight take place? Does it take place here in the States where really nobody gives a fuck? My God, they better not do it in Vegas. I mean, they could do it in Oakland. That's about it. You know, or does it go overseas with the big money? And would Ward want to go overseas for that big money, right? What network? Also, will w would that WBC emeritus status that Tony Bellew has, will that be on the line? And how did he get that in the first place? You know? And will the winner of this fight go on to fight the winner of that cruiserweight tournament? Or is Tony Bell you going to keep hopping between, you know, cruiserweight, you know, and, and heavyweight, you know, just looking for big fights? So I really, I, I want to see the fight because I want to see how Andre Ward, as a boxing fan and as an Andre Ward supporter, you know, now nah, listen, don't listen. Let's not get into it. I just feel like this. I want to see how he adjusts, you know, how he's going to look. At cruiserweight, is he going to slow down? Is he going to be more sharp or is he going to be more loose? You know, that'll give me, you know, an idea of like, oh, shit, he probably could maybe hold his own a little bit at heavyweight. And also, he's tall. That's one good thing he got about him, you know, like in, 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 in me thinking like he could possibly be successful at cruiserweight and heavyweight is that he's about six foot one. You know, I'm six foot three. So I've been in the same room when he met that uh, first press conference for uh, War Cobalt F2. You know, like he's got the height on him, you know, so he can he can hold his own. He'll be on a shorter end of heavyweights, 
you know, but he can hold his own at heavyweight, you know. You're considered you're considered short at heavyweight if you're if you're six foot five eleven, you're short, you know. And that was Mike Tyson, you know, you're considered short, you know. Yeah, you see what I'm trying to see what I'm trying to Um, yeah, I gotta get to some emails. I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Uh, please subscribe if the fight was to happen. It will be happening soon. Also, you have to think Andre Ward has three titles. He's the, WB, the WBA, the WBO, and the IBF. So he's got mandatories coming up. So he's got to make a decision soon because he's holding up basically the whole division. You see what I'm saying? You know? Please subscribe.